Let's move on now and check in on how bond markets are trading. Simon Michelle from Fig Securities is joining us live. Simon, great to see you there. Now, we've seen these global yields falling back, softer US growth data that came through uh, that we, you know, sort of managed to absorb over the weekend. Was it a result of that? Talk us through the moves. I think that's the key driver, Leanne, absolutely. I mean, there's still this uh, exuberance in the market uh, that's certainly been pushing yields up. And when we get this uh, a bit of news out that just doesn't match that rhetoric, you see the market make a bit of an adjustment. You're seeing that reflecting, uh, reflected in equity markets today. Yields down only a couple of points, only around 15, 20 basis points from their peaks last year. So not a lot of movement, but, uh, you know, in this market, uh, when you get a little bit of uh, negative data or softer data, people tend to take notice. Has there been any change in the interest rate um, expectations for a potential mar March move by the Fed? Look, it's interesting. I think uh, at the moment, a uh, move in March is around about, uh, you know, below 50% anyway at the moment. So market not the market's not really building in a case for a March increase. It's more settled on a June increase. Interestingly, I think uh, a lot of commentary around the Feb, uh, Fed meeting uh, around their reinvestment policy. So the US Fed holds about four and a half trillion of its own Treasury securities on the bond buying it uh, did a couple of years ago. And uh, we're now starting to see talk around whether they might start to see that uh, lower down. Um, they won't reinvest coupons, won't reinvest uh, maturing bonds. So that'll be interesting to see and could have a bit of an impact on the yield curve if they do start to pull that back. Mm -hmm. All right, and just bringing it locally, those Aussie yields, um, credit spreads looking to be tightening up, I guess, the sign investors are happy to take on risk. Yes, absolutely. And that's really interesting because these have been stubbornly high above 100 basis points or above 1%. And uh, just in the last week, have dropped right back to uh, now we're only around 92 basis points. So starting to get to sort of the low point that we've had over the last couple of years. So just goes to show investors happy to take on more higher risk investments for higher return um, in this current uh, positive sentiment market. All right, fantastic. Simon, we'll leave it there. But it's been great having you on as always. Thank you. Have a great day. Thanks, Leanne. Simon.